<laughs> I can't watch much more of this. It's the scary, it's just shit. Paper mache and painted laser rays. Gay ass monsters made of clay. If you want to scream, come scream with me. Scream, soup, scream, soup. If you want to scream, come scream with me. Scream, soup, scream, soup. What the hell is this supposed to be? Action, romance, or sci fi comedy? I just don't have fucking time for this shit. Bring on the blood and show me the tits. If you want to scream, come scream with me. Scream, shoot, scream, shoot. If you want to scream, come scream with me. Chuck Norris once ate a whole cake before his friends could tell him there was a stripper in it. Chuck Norris is the only man to ever defeat a brick wall in a game of tennis. Chuck Norris does not teabag the ladies. He potato sacks them. Howdy, freaks. If you haven't figured it out yet, we're doing a special Screaming Soup this episode featuring Chuck, Chuck Norris. Norris. Now, Peyote, I invited you, but Catfish, how did you and TP Mummy get here? It's freaking Chuck Norris. The man grinds his coffee with his teeth and boils the water with his own rage. I'm insulted you didn't invite me to begin with. You pick the rare coyote over me? Well, he brings special party favors from trucking the crosslands. You keep sticking me with your bar tab. A lot of friend in need makes me a friend indeed. Uh, and TP Mummy? During my spiritual journeys, I was finally greeted by my animal spirit guide, only to watch Chuck Norris disembowel it with a hunting knife and devour it whole. I've since then followed the path of the lone wolf, McQuaid. Anyway, you're probably wondering why we're celebrating an action star since I'm all about reviewing monster movies. But believe it or not, Chuck Norris actually made such a film. Right before Chuck Norris' number one backer, Cannon Films, bit the dust, they spat out one last film that pitted Chuck Norris against a prince of darkness, and there was hell to pay. Chuck Norris is the second coming of Karate Jesus in... Hellbound. As blatantly spelled out in the Star Wars scroll, the meat of the story is a demon called Persatanus trying to resurrect the devil for Armageddon. The only one who can stop him is a shining knight from the west, or as we call him, Chuck Norris. Chuck plays Chicago policeman Sergeant Shatter. Yep, you heard it. And gets mixed up in this apocalypse scheme when a roundhouse kicks his way into a murder case that ties to Persatanus. Since the victim is a rabbi from Israel, Chuck and his comic relief partner are summoned by the Israel police for questioning. But this is Chuck's world, and he's got to kick someone in the face even if he's half a world away. He finds out Persatanus killed the rabbi, and is after a scepter that was chopped up after his first failed attempt to call the devil collect in medieval times. But when the scepter is made whole again, Persatanus tries to knock on Hell's Gate one more time, but pays a consequence when he finds out Chuck Norris is doomsday. Ah, uh, this isn't quite what I was expecting. You're telling me. Omega Force was much better. You mean Delta Force? Was well, that the one with him fighting ninjas? And when he was done, he whispers to himself, Ninjas aren't real. No, that was Octagon. Yep. Hexagon. That's it. You don't even know what you're talking about. You're not a fan. You just like the Chuck Norris jokes. Whoa, whoa. Keep that up and you'll be an outside dog. What'd you say to me? You heard me, wear ass. Let's take a look at the sour parts of this film. For starters, I was hoping the whole story could have stayed in the U.S. of A. Something about a demon street fight in Chicago downtown is just appealing to me. I'm thinking dark, rainy, a, a touch moody, but instead we get a bright Israel town with this goofy-ass family vacation buddy cop music. And what was worse was the pickpocket they run across in Israel. Now, I know Chuck was a big role model for the kiddies at the time, but I could really care less about this. This is the film about a man fighting a demon to save the world. I have zero tolerance for these kind of shenanigans. Kids, gotta go. What are you doing here? I'm your new partner, remember? Kid, get out of here. And forget that partner crap. <laughs> And speaking of the demon, he was a little too simple and hackneyed, especially at the end. It's freaking frustrating when you see the filmmakers obviously spent time creating a demonic persona for Pesatanus, so why didn't Chuck fight the dude in his demon form? That would have been wicked awesome! 
What would have been more awesome is if Chuck actually fought the devil. Because Chuck Norris can't divide by zero, there wasn't any pissing time to report, unless you count Chuck not showing up until 15 minutes into the movie. It's rumored he was busy eating a 72-ounce steak for those 15 minutes and spent 11 of them doing the waitress. We got a big fat zilch for the bogus scares, and I bet that's because nothing scares a man who invented his own karate called Chuck Will Kill. Now for the sweets this film has to offer, it's, well, it's freaking Chuck Norris! He kicks ass! He fights a demon, assassins, evil monks, and still has enough time to chew nails in the face of pimps and drug addicts he doesn't like. It hit me. Hey, come on. Hit me, tough guy. Come on. Let's see how tough you really are. You call that a hit? That's a hit. Only a man named Sergeant Shatter can deliver lines written with such caliber. For the tally, Hellbound racked up seven bodies along with some random knights and evil monks who litter the ground for battle aftermath. Surprisingly, though, the body count is mostly under Persatanists, with Chuck's only kills being a few unseen monks and then Persatanists himself. Now, regarding the tit count, we have some pretty ladies to look at, but that's pretty much it. We had to settle for class versus trash. Probably because Chuck Norris only has to look at a woman to impregnate her. All right, Billy, it's that time again. You ready to cook these film ingredients and see what it rates? <laughs> Three out of five. I'd recommend this film to die-hard Chuck Norris fans, weirdos who really like pictures of faraway places and the Pope. But what do I know? I like Killer Tomatoes. Huh. Monsters are cool. Chuck Norris is uber cool to infinity. How could these two things not work out together? That was pretty low. You sure you want to rate it that way? It is what it is, and it's just an okay movie. You might want to change your mind, Dead West. I heard Chuck Norris doesn't hunt because the word hunting implies the probability of failure. Chuck Norris goes killing. Ah, oh, that's just for shits and giggles. I never even met the guy, so how could he find me? Incoming call for Dead West. <laughs> That's the last time I buy anything from an Amityville yard sale. Hello? Hello? It's time to die. Well, holy shit! Who was it? I may not know Chuck Norris, but he knows me. That is awesome, but creepy as shit at the same time. I think it's time to go. You think? Hell, the boogeyman checks under his bed for Chuck Norris. Shut up. See you next time, freaks. Let's go.